Okay, so we are beginning our online international education fair and the webinar is about to start. I can see we have about 100 students. I want to thank you for joining us today. I hope this is going to be a useful information when you're going to be attending till the end of the webinar. You will be able to learn about the scholarships, application fee waivers, the COVID-19 updates and many more. So watch till the end and ask any question that you have. I hope it's going to be worth. Thanks. My name is Raghuram and uh, I represent uh, Aspato International, which is uh, uh, one of the biggest private colleges from New Zealand. And uh, I know, you know for many of the students, uh, they have options uh, to study abroad in different countries. And New Zealand, uh, in fact, falls into top four or five uh, uh, options uh, for the international students it may not be the first or second but yes it it, uh, it is uh, one of the options when they look to study abroad in new zealand now about uh, a bit about new zealand uh, uh, basically uh, this is uh, uh, this is down south of uh, australia it's about three three and a half hours uh, flight from australia and uh, from india approximately it takes around uh, 14 to 15 hours because you have to change your flights uh, uh, either from malaysia or from singapore and then uh, when we talk about uh, new zealand as a country new zealand uh, of course is uh, not a very big country when you compare with the us canada or australia but yes it is uh, as big as uh, uh, japan but uh, you know and it's also bigger than uk which is one of the prominent uh, study destinations. So that's the reason I'm giving uh, some comparison with UK. But the good part is uh, when you when you look into the uh, uh, population, uh, New Zealand is uh, not uh, that thickly populated uh, like UK or you know uh, many other countries of uh, similar size. Uh, to give you uh, uh, some basic information uh, uh, geographically, um, New Zealand, in fact, you know, uh, it is spread across uh, two islands. Uh, the, they have got two islands. One is known as uh, the North Island, and the other one is known as the South Island. So, combination of that um, makes it uh, New Zealand as a, as a country. It's an island country, so you feel a lot of breeze all throughout the year. But uh, the when it comes to atmosphere, it is not uh, cold as Europe or uh, US or Canada. You have got uh, moderate uh, temperatures. And uh, normally the summers uh, goes uh, anything up to 30 degrees and uh, winters uh, 10 degrees. And some some places, yes, uh, up to even uh, one degrees as well. You know, that, that's uh, that, that's very rare. Um, the the biggest... Uh, um, uh, Raghu, I'm sorry yeah. to interrupt. Uh, Raghu, we yeah. cannot uh, see your slides moving. I'm not moving it. I'm just, you know, describing oh, about the country. <laughs> I'll, I'll move that, that later, okay. yeah. Then it's okay. okay. <laughs> so it's okay. on the first first slide only now. Yeah. All right. So uh, continuing that about uh, New Zealand, uh, but uh, uh, see the most popular uh, destinations or uh, most popular cities for New Zealand being Auckland, Christchurch. You have Taranga, and most of you might have you know heard of Wellington as well. Wellington is the official capital for uh, New Zealand, uh, whereas Auckland is the business capital and is and is the biggest city for New Zealand. And the population I uh, was talking about, you know, with UK and uh, the other countries, the, the population of uh, New Zealand is just around uh, 4.5 4 million, whereas uh, UK is uh, more than 65 million. And uh, Canada, I, I guess it's more than 37 million. And uh, um, the US is uh, 320 billion approximately. You know, that's, that, that's a, a bit of uh, comparison. It's not... Uh, New Zealand is not also not thickly populated, you know, uh, that's the reason you have a uh, lot of space, a lot of greenery, you have beautiful air, beautiful atmosphere, you have zero pollution and it, it ranks among uh, top uh, uh, 10 countries in the world in, 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 in terms of uh, safety. Uh, that's about uh, a bit about New Zealand. Now, moving on to education system. Now, it follows New Zealand, in fact, they follow a uh, UK pattern of education system where their education is divided into different levels. For international students, it starts from uh, level five to level 10, level five being the diplomas, uh, and then eventually you have got uh, graduate diplomas, bachelors, postgraduate diplomas, up to PhDs. Uh, New Zealand has got about uh, eight universities and uh, uh, close to 20, 27 uh, uh, public colleges or the ITPs. 
now they are becoming one uh, entity from 2020 let's not uh, you know focus more on that and then you also have private colleges which are known as the pte the private tertiary educations and aspire to is a private tertiary education and we have been in the industry for over uh, 25 years now and we are among the top uh, uh, schools in uh, new zealand delivering uh, uh, different courses to international students and we recruit uh, more than three and a half thousand stu international students from across the world and uh, the advantage with uh, Aspire 2 is uh, we have got uh, uh, multiple intakes. Uh, if I say multiple intakes, so we have got nine intakes in a year. And you should be surprised because uh, you might have heard of two or three intakes in a year. But you know that's how we operate and uh, that's the reason we also limit our classroom sizes. It normally does not go beyond 15, 20 students. That make uh, easy for students uh, to approach uh, uh, the lecturers and you know get clarified on their doubts uh, and everything okay now uh, yeah now i think you might be seeing uh, the slides uh, starting with the first slide you know uh, we say delivering your future that's we mean uh, that uh, it's just not the education what we uh, meant to we we try to you know uh, shape career out of the education what uh, they are going to get uh, uh, from aspire 2 we in fact we are connected with uh, uh, different universities and other big institutions as well for uh, pathways and for post graduation uh, etc okay while we go through the presentation you could understand you know how it operates and then we are also connected uh, with more than 100 plus uh, companies to support our students with uh, job opportunities so we support our students uh, for finding both part-time and full-time jobs and as of today we have successfully placed more than 80 percent of our graduates uh, also okay now this is what we say uh, this is our promise we have got expert tutors we have happiest campuses we have got uh, campuses uh, in uh, three different cities we have four campuses starting with Auckland where we have got two campuses and uh, then we have in Toronto and also in Christchurch okay and uh, yeah expect tutors yes we have we have got more than uh, 150 tutors of which uh, our, our tutors are highly experienced uh, they 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 carry uh, uh, more than eight to ten years of uh, experience individually and they are either post graduates or phd uh, graduates okay so that's where we we focus on uh, quality of education as well and i talked about relevant employment uh, opportunities because we are connected with uh, many number of uh, employers in new zealand wherein uh, we invite them to the the campuses almost every month and uh, do kind of uh, campus recruitments where uh, they come to our campus talk to the students and uh, pick up the students uh, for giving employment relevant employment okay uh, some slides about uh, the students and the campuses i was talking about yeah so this is what uh, we mean delivering quality we don't compromise on the quality of education and uh, that's the reason we we have a high uh, uh, password percentage as well it's more than 95 percent okay and that gives the confidence to the students and also to the agents uh, this is uh, this is a group uh, aspire to group uh, uh, on the whole uh, wherein the education part comes under international aspire to international where we offer programs in hospitality and healthcare. they have business and technology and then you also have English. English is only for the uh, online students, I mean, uh, onshore students. Okay, then you also have distance learning. It's all, you know, uh, basically for students from New Zealand, not for uh, international students. So let's not talk much about that. Okay, now this is what uh, we offer. I was talking about uh, the programs uh, under Asper uh, to International. See, we have got uh, three divisions again. Uh, one is business and technology, where we offer the business courses, computing and uh, information technology programs, uh, engineering and accounting. That's only for international students. I mean, engineering is only for international stu uh, uh, domestic students, but wherein we also offer accounting for international students. We also have uh, hospitality, cookery, and culinary arts, and also healthcare. Healthcare is again uh, for onshore students at the moment. We'll be coming up with uh, uh, healthcare programs and engineering programs as well for international students. 
and also english is not meant for uh, indian students i would say but uh, the the english programs are available for different nationalities other than indians okay now this is a bit about uh, uh, new zealand we are talking about why why new zealand uh, say uh, a bit of information about new zealand uh, you see new zealand makes you feel uh, welcome uh, people in new zealand are uh, very friendly and most of you know they are also known as the kiwis and uh, kiwi kiwi you, you find uh, kiwi fruit and uh, kiwi bird which is very very popular uh, uh, from new zealand and that's the reason the new zealanders are also known as the kiwis okay and the education system is highly regarded it is uh, the, the courses or the uh, programs what you do in new zealand they are accepted uh, globally you can feel safe i talked about that uh, new zealand ranks among top uh, 10 countries in the world in terms of safety aspects okay it has got a stable economy you know not not much of uh, disturbances no disturbances i would say okay you have got plenty of uh, work opportunities you have got an amazing lifestyle you can have you know um, work life balance uh, when you are in new zealand okay and then you could see it's a, it's a, it's a place for over 220 ethnic groups right now why into why aspire to international so as i mentioned we have got multiple campuses in new zealand you could see the new zealand map there where uh, we have we have you know highlighted the campuses auckland toranga and christchurch okay so we what what we offer is uh, we offer programs that are uh, uh, connected to the current uh, job scenario and we talk about uh, uh, expert teachers who make a difference up to date range of study options then we talked about uh, employment as well then uh, then you the students also get counseling and support and then you you got time for work and play as well okay now these are uh, pictures from different uh, campuses you could see uh, uh, two campuses in auckland one is henderson campus and the main campus in auckland which is in the cbd uh, close to the sky tower and then we have got toranga campus and christchurch campus as well okay a bit about the cities uh, 40 percent of auckland's population was uh, born overseas you can you can understand that and as i mentioned it is uh, the major city for new zealand so you could see more than 200 ethnicities uh, makes auckland culturally diversified okay and uh, this is the largest uh, uh, city for new zealand and you could also see uh, down below it is ranked third best city in the world for quality of living that's where uh, the new zealand uh, uh, cities stand you know when you when you look into uh, uh, global comparisons with different cities okay and uh, yeah you have a huge range of activities within an hour of city centers so you can you can uh, definitely enjoy you know <clears throat> in the city not just studying you can enjoy your personal life as well okay now why toranga again you know it's, it's about toranga it is uh, uh, this region is also known as uh, the fruit bowl of the country where uh, you can find uh, much of horticulture agriculture and you know uh, fruits are grown uh, here and they are supplied uh, almost across the world and uh, in new zealand okay now this part is called the bay of plenty area okay and this is uh, toranga is uh, toranga ranks uh, fifth largest city uh, in new zealand Okay, now Christchurch. Christchurch is in the South Island. If you could, you could see that, okay, and this is the second largest city for New Zealand. Now, uh, this is what we offer uh, uh, when I when I talk about uh, why students uh, can choose Aspire to. As I mentioned, we offer uh, different services uh, other than uh, providing quality of education. We also support. Uh, them right from the time they decide to uh, come and join with Aspire to. We offer the basic services like you know uh, airport pickup, then uh, supporting them with the initial two weeks of uh, uh, free accommodation, and all our students also get a laptop or notebook computers. And uh, these are all uh, free services for which we don't charge anything. And from the time of orientation, now uh, we also uh, help our students uh, improving their communication skills ideally you know we we prepare them for the job market so we start training them uh, from i would say from from uh, day one itself 
from the time they start their orientation. So we train them on critical soft skills. And then we have an exclusive uh, department under Aspire to Work to uh, support and uh, play for doing uh, placement services, wherein we help our students uh, uh, in, in uh, preparation of their CVs, uh, preparing them for the uh, uh, job interviews as well, and also you know connecting them with uh, employers. So they need to be in uh, touch with us because uh, every week. Uh, they could find uh, some of the other job popping up uh, on the board where if, if uh, their profile matches they can as well uh, apply and take assistance uh, from from our department and they can find relevant uh, employment there in new zealand itself uh, so some other services where we offer uh, yeah this is what the confidence we give they are safe with us Okay, some some key information for international students on uh, medical and travel insurance, health services eligibility, accident insurance. Uh, all this uh, information you can find on our uh, website for more details. Okay, now we also have some short courses, uh, especially with uh, cookery. Okay, now this is what I uh, mentioned. We have got 80% of our graduates uh, who got placed. Uh, full-time or part-time employment. Okay. Well, yes, this is, uh, this is what, what we are, okay. And let me go through, let me put you with the prospectors. That will uh, give you about the courses. I can talk about the courses now. Uh, is this visible? Yeah, we can see that. Okay, fine. Right. So these are the programs. As I said, New Zealand uh, offers programs uh, for international students, which which are known as uh, level of education. And if you could uh, see on the top, probably you know we are offering uh, programs in uh, cookery for international students. I would talk because welding is not part of uh, international studies. Uh, we offer programs in cookery, hospitality, business, IT, and computing, which starts from level five, okay? And uh, the eligibility uh, for these programs uh, to, to uh, give a clarity on uh, uh, what level, uh, what kind of student uh, could take up. Uh, level five and six are uh, meant for students, those who have completed their plus two in India, and those who want to study their bachelor's or they want to do a, a two-year program. The advantage with New Zealand education is um, they can uh, do a two-year program, which could be level five and six. They can take a break and uh, they can continue the level seven, which is nothing but the third year of their bachelor's. So that's an advantage with uh, New Zealand education, which is uh, uh, otherwise not possible in India or uh, some other countries. Okay. Now, uh, yes, after uh, plus two, they can uh, do this uh, level five and six. And uh, since it's an English speaking country, IELTS or PTA are mandatory. The requirement of IELTS would be six bands with no band less than 5.5. If they are taking PTE, it should be more than 50. And uh, for your information, any course uh, which is uh, uh, below level seven program, a student will have to do a two years course. It could be five and six or six and seven. Only from level seven and above, the student is allowed to uh, study a one-year program. Now we are, uh, as of now, we are offering programs up to level seven. I'll I'll give you the difference between level seven and uh, other higher qualifications. Level seven programs are very popular in New Zealand for especially for the fresh graduates, those with or without uh, work experience. And uh, after doing this course, uh, eventually uh, it, it becomes uh, uh, easier for them to uh, get their first job. Um, now, uh, for level seven program, this, uh, these are also known as the diploma programs or the graduate diploma programs. And the advantage, as I said, even fresh graduates can get into this level seven programs, which is ideally one year. And after that, uh, uh, they would get a PSW or post-study work uh, permits uh, for two years if they study outside Auckland. If it is uh, within Auckland, it will be only one year. And during this period, 
if they find a relevant job now they will also get an opportunity to apply for the pr if they want to uh, settle down in new zealand if not they can uh, work there uh, get some international experience and they can also uh, go to any other country or they can come back to india as well okay and uh, now going about the courses starting with the business course uh, these are some pathway programs as well i'll uh, discuss this, uh, discuss it uh, a bit later now yeah now coming with the program starting with uh, the business programs we offer program uh, in business uh, which is known as new zealand diploma in uh, business level 5 and then you have new zealand diploma in business level 6 it's a two year program for students after plus 2 and the ielts requirement as i mentioned it would be 6 bands no band less than 5.5 and uh, in this particular course we also offer specializations so right from year 1 we offer uh, specialization in accounting we have administrative and technology uh, strand and then we also have leadership management so student can pick up any of this specialization right from year one okay now we have multiple programs to offer uh, at level seven uh, especially for the graduates uh, from india those who want to pursue their uh, higher qualification a good qualification and then they want to start working in new zealand so start with the uh, diploma in business this course can be offered to any graduate irrespective of their uh, uh, specialization when i mean that uh, even a uh, even a graduate with engineering background or a science background can also go and do this particular program get the business qualification and now they are ready to uh, work in new zealand but this will not have a specialization if somebody wants a specialization, then we also have this uh, very good program. It's known as uh, the Graduate Diploma in Applied Management, wherein we offer three specializations, uh, starting with uh, retail management. Then we have got uh, tourism and hospitality and then project management. So depending on a student's uh, 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 profile or, or the previous education qualification, you may suggest any of this specialization. Let's say uh, if a student is from engineering background, you might suggest them a project management specialization or retail management and student from uh, hotel management uh, background you could always suggest them tourism and hospitality even project management or retail management anything can they can do okay now we also have the diploma in technology management this is a bit niche program and uh, it's it's a, it's a high rated program uh, only for this program we would require at least two years of work experience from the student and uh, from the technology area okay ielts remains the same for all level 7 programs so don't get confused about the iel requirements or pt requirements for every level it is the same there is no change irrespective of the course and then we also have a diploma in accounting and this is again a very popular course and there is a good demand of accountants in uh, new zealand right and you can offer this program to uh, all the graduates who are from uh, the accounting or finance background okay now coming to it and computing now we offer again uh, programs from level 5 to level 7 in it and computing so uh, students who are keen to pursue their uh, uh, studies with the it or computing program they can you know very well get into this particular program uh, after plus 2 so we have got new zealand diploma in uh, it technical support and then New Zealand Diploma in Systems Administration, level six, a uh, two year program for uh, plus two students. And after this, they can also come and do the grad diploma in IT course, level seven. Now, again, when we talk about level seven program, this is also meant for the graduates who want to do a specialization or additional qualification to enhance their uh, career probabilities and again uh, like the graduate diploma in uh, business even this course can be offered to non-it students as well please mark that this can be offered to non-it students as well the only requirement to do this uh, a course for non-it students would be they should have a, a, a basic uh, understanding of uh, uh, the languages c c plus plus and java which they can do from uh, uh, any any institution good institution from india and they can submit uh, uh, the certificate before applying for this particular course and ielts of course remains the same six bands with no band less than 5.5 and if it is pt it should be more than 50 
Okay. Um, Mr. Raghuram, I'm really, uh, yeah. I'm really sorry to interrupt. My apologies. Uh, but as we are no running problem. late on time, if you can just wrap it up with the important pointers for the students, and then uh, we can uh, sure. have the question. I'm, I'm just done. It, it will not take more than five minutes now. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. Okay, move on to cookery and culinary arts program. Again, you can offer this to 10 plus 2 students or students from the hotel management uh, qualification, uh, especially the diploma students, not the graduates. Okay, and they can become chefs uh, in New Zealand once they are done with this particular course. And uh, for uh, uh, as per our experience, uh, our students have got 100 percent placement for most of these courses. Okay, finally, with the hospitality management. So this brings us to the end of the webinar. I hope the information that you have gained today is going to be useful for you for up and making an application to the university. If you still have any question or any query about applying to the university, then you contact one of the study metro representative. Thank you so much again for joining this webinar. Have a good one.